Hi, it's Corey with the Corey Mayo team and I help people just like you buy, build and sell homes right here in coastal Delaware. Today we're here at Welch's Pond doing an updated driving tour. It is November uh, 2024. It's been a few months since we've been here. There have been some new phase releases, lots of homes that have been closed. I actually had a client who just, just settled on their home this week. So let's get a, an idea and view of what has happened and changed here since the last time I've been here at Welch's Pond. Let's set off and check this place out. So for those of you who have not seen my previous videos on Welch's Pond, Welch's Pond is located on Cedar Grove Road in Lewis, Delaware. We're just about, just over a mile from Route 1. Uh, if you're familiar at all with the area, it would be down around where the Midway Shopping Center is, where the movie theater is. So we're a very close distance between uh, downtown Lewis and Rehoboth. So great location, uh, really puts you in good proximity of local amenities, shopping, dining, entertaining. Um, so definitely a good location for the, the community here. Now this is Shell Brothers exclusively. So all the homes here are built by Shell Brothers, which is nice, not just for Shell Brothers, but when you're in a community that there's only one builder, it gives you some continuity of the look and feel of the community from the first home in the front until you get all the way to the community's finished at the back with the final home. Now this is a curved and sidewalk community, so we'll, we'll notice on the right hand side here that we have uh, sidewalks. Underneath of that is going to be our stormwater management, so the rainwater will go off into that stormwater management and then run off to the water retention ponds throughout the community. Off to the right here is going to be our thicket. They kind of call that like an adult playground. It has some hammocks and swings and things. Uh, you know, for just kind of sit there and relax. It's actually located on the actual Welch's Pond, which is off to the right here behind these homes uh, and behind the trees that are that are uh, on, on the back of these homes here. So we have a natural pond, the Welch's Pond, and then we have uh, community water retention ponds throughout the community. This road here, uh, this has been built out probably for about a year now, I would probably say. The next road over, which is on the other side, that's uh, Deaver Circle, which we will get to. Um, that has some more recently closed homes, uh, and then all the way up front uh, is where there are even more so of the newer homes that have been built and closed on recently. But we're gonna work our way back towards the back of the community, which is where some of the wooded home sites are, and that will give us an idea and look uh, as to some of the current home sites that are available, um, if that was something that you were looking for, especially those wooded lots. A lot of people from Welch's Pond are looking for more private wooded home sites and that's definitely what we have going on in the back of the community. Off to the right here we can see the clubhouse and the pool that is underway. Uh, the hopes and plans are to be swimming uh, this summer. Uh, not sure what the plan is for when the clubhouse is going to be open. Obviously you don't need warm weather for the doors to be open on the clubhouse but they are actively working on that and that's really that's really nice that, that uh, the, the amenities will be up and running um, soon here. Uh, this is East Bridge Loop. This is like a circle, uh, like I kind of call it like a racetrack. Uh, you have, it, it's a really great way of when you develop a community to do it in, the, in this fashion because the outside home sites are all wooded. The inside home sites typically are going to be backing up to a pond. So you really don't have bad home sites. And if you watch my videos on this community as well as other communities, I, I talk about that a lot, and that's what's nice. If you're looking for a pond lot, you go to the inside. If you're looking for a wooded lot, you go to the outside. So a bunch of beautiful homes here. This um, community, Shell Brothers, is building their Courtyard Series homes, which are going to be like the Shearwaters, the Wimbrels, the Cassidy's. The Cassidy has been a big one recently. Uh, there's a new Cassidy model, actually, that opened up in Mirlon, which is in Milton, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, definitely one that you should check out. It is a stunning, stunning model home. Uh, but, you know, so that is something that could be built here as well. Um, the Shearwaters, I may have said that. Uh, and then all the way down to the Montauk, which would be a smaller home, roughly about 1,800 square feet. So you can start in that smaller size and then work your way all the way up. I mean, you can get into a Waterford if you have a, a, a basement site and be in and around 
you know, 6,000 square feet. So you have a you know, really good offering here as far as size, depending on what you're looking for. Now we're crossing over the bridge here, coming back into this new phase. They have crush and run down now, so I'm gonna see how far we can get back. Looks like curbs are in, so that's great. So there are uh, available home sites throughout this phase right now, and you'll see the pipes are, are in throughout. They'll probably hopefully be starting to build once they get the, the black top, you can actually get the roads laid. But this, you know, really looking at this, and, and this is actually a really good time to be seeing a community with wooded home sites, because this is when you really get to see how thick and how private are the trees, because they're gonna be the thinnest at this point in time, um, because the leaves are falling off of the trees. And we can see, even with the, the thinning of the leaves, we still have thick private home sites. We have some trees in the middle here. This road actually comes in and bends around to the left. They left some trees in, in this middle section here. All the trees around the out, outer edge there are gonna be uh, wooded home sites. There's gonna be a pond on the other side of this, um, this yellow uh, you know, earth moving machine. Um, that's a grater, it helps level the ground out. Uh, on the other side of that, there's a, a big dirt pile, and then on the other side of that dirt pile is where there's gonna be a pond. So some of these home sites off to the right will back up to the pond. And then all these ones on the far left here, these are, are tree lined. A lot of these are sold, but on the far side of where that tree line kind of loops around, the other side of there, that's where that the most recent phase release has been done. Um, really great uh, private home sites back there as well. Um, so definitely something to consider uh, if you're looking for more private wooded home sites. This portion of Welch's Pond is an excellent, excellent option. Wish we could get back a little bit farther, but not in my Jeep. Don't want to take a chance of getting stuck or hung up on a, on a manhole cover or anything like that. So coming back, we're going to cross back over the uh, bridge here from the East Bridge Loop, and we're going to make a right and continue back around uh, this, this you know, circle or racetrack, as I call it. The home sites in this community are averaging about a quarter acre. Uh, the HOA does include cutting your lawn, your, um, your trash removal is included, snow removal on the streets is included. So they will cut, weed whack, handle all of that for you, um, as well as handle the snow on the streets. Obviously on your property, that is uh, your responsibility because of, you know, most likely because of insurance reasons. God forbid if someone were to slip and fall after someone else cleared it. So you do handle your, your own driveway and sidewalk, but all the roads and all that is included um, with the HOA fee. See here off to the right is a nice uh, Mayberry Elevation B. So really good that sampling. That's a one story home. And then we have off to the right here, this white house, this is a Chesapeake. little different angle here on the, on the uh, amenities. And we'll try to get some aerial footage here of this area as well to kind of give you an idea since we can't get in there quite yet. So when we came in, we came in from this road off to the left. That's Welch's Way and made a right. So we'll continue straight ahead here on Deaver's Circle. These home sites, a lot of people were waiting for it because you had trees behind you and then a pond on the front, um, you know, obviously on the opposite side of the road. So this area sold really fast. And then when that first phase on the other side of the bridge, they just went super fast also. Again, a lot of people are really looking for wooded home sites, but the great thing is some people want to be in Welch's Pond. Um, the disadvantage of the wood, wooded home sites is that they have a little bit of a higher premium because it is a premium home site. It's a very, um, special, you know, opportunity that you have in a community that, that's this close to um, Route 1, just being right off of, uh, off of Route 1, roughly about a mile or so. So if you are looking at Welch's and you love the wooded home sites, but maybe it's just a little bit out of reach with that, that higher lot premium, uh, you have opportunities up front here that are going to be pond views that have a lower, lower premium. So this is the area that we're heading towards now. Um, we are on Flatbush Drive right now, heading down. This is uh, down where the new model is. They, the 
previous model was the Chesapeake and they recently opened up, I believe yesterday was actually the grand opening, was their Jameson model, which is a really cool, unique floor plan. Um, definitely one that you should check out as well. The Chesapeake had some, was a great uh, model for sure, but it has some things that I think that over time needed to be adjusted and changed. And you know, the Jameson is not a Chesapeake, but it has some of the things that people requested about in some of the other floor plans in the, in the uh, Courtyard Series homes. We're coming here making a right. Congratulations to my clients here. This is a Chesapeake on the right-hand side. This is a lot 83 uh, with the three-car side load. Um, they're in framing now, so that's definitely exciting. I know they're you know, really excited to work on that, trying to find them the right home site for, um, for a while, a couple years. So coming down again, this is going to be the road we're going to have some opportunity on some uh, pond view a little bit low of a lower uh, home site premium here. Uh, so this is definitely one to consider. Again, if you really like Welch's Pond, but maybe those wooded home sites are pushing you out a little bit. Um, there are, depending on which floor, floor plan you pick in the home site, there are opportunity of doing three car or just a silo garage. Um, that's what happens when you're, a little, when you're in a home site where the lots are a little bit wider like this. So here we have this home off to the right, this under construction, you can see that's gonna be a three car side load. So long as you have enough of a, of a width of a lot to make that turn, that actually looks like, a, like it's a Mayberry. Yeah, that's a Mayberry Elevation B with a three-car side load. So that's a pretty wide home site uh, to be able to do that. So yeah, those are always things that, that pop up. So it's definitely something to, to think about and consider if you're, if that's something that you really like, you're really looking for a three-car side load, not all communities have the width in order to fit that. So well, just maybe something to, look at and consider if that's uh, kind of the look and feel that you're looking for. But that pretty much concludes our tour here at Welch's Pond. If you have any questions at all, again, my name is Corey with the Corey Mayo team, and I specialize in client relocation, new construction, and basically everything that has to do with Coastal Delaware real estate. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. You can give me a call or text at 302-466-5511. You can also email me at Corey, C-O-R-Y, at CoastalLifeDE, as in Delaware, dot com. Don't forget, please make sure you hit that notification bell and that subscribe button. That way you're updated next time I upload new videos. But most importantly, give me a call. I'm excited to help make you my next happy client. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to hearing from you soon.